Hello everyone, welcome to IIT Frontier. My name is Hariharnath. In this video, let's look into step by step guide how to measure distance using ultrasonic sensor and send those values to Azure IoT Cloud using Raspberry Pi. So stay tuned until the end of this video so that you will get all the steps right. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that it encourages us to create more such videos. As usual, let's get first started with the guide I have created in the GitHub. So in the GitHub, you can look into the steps that I have mentioned. So first thing that is prerequisites. Under the prerequisites, you need to create IoT Hub, IoT Hub device. So let's look into Azure portal. So I have logged in into my Azure portal. Inside the Azure portal, you have to create this IoT Hub. So I have already created, and if you haven't created IoT Hub and IoT device, you can watch this video on top right corner so that you can create first the IoT Hub and IoT device. So now I have this IoT Hub and as well as there is IoT device. So you can see the primary connection string for this. So that is useful in my uh, code so that we can copy it. So next thing we have to do is we have to go to Raspberry Pi and check the Python 3 version is there or not. So I'll use putty to connect to that. So I'll be connecting to it and uh, type the username and password. So now I have logged in. So I can check whether I have this Python 3 version or not. Yes, Python 3 is already installed. So if it is not installed, you can use these commands to install the Python 3. Next thing is we need to install this required packages. So this is for asynchronous programming. This is already available in my system, but still, still I'm showing that. So you can see the async IO has been already installed. So that's why the requirement is already satisfied. Now let's look into the step two. So what are the different components required? So we need Raspberry Pi. So it can be any version. So I have used Raspberry Pi 3B. And if you have another version of Raspberry Pi, you can use that as well. And we need this already Raspberry Pi OS installed, micro SD card installed it. And then uh, we need this power supply cord. So the important sensor that we need is ultrasonic sensor that is HCSR02. And then resistors. Do we need, so we need two resistors that is 330 ohms and 470 ohms. So that will, I'll show you the connection in the short moment and the jumper wise as well as breadboard. Now let's look into the hardware schematic. This is the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so here we can see the pins that are connected to this uh, sensor using this in between we have resistors uh, as well. So based on this, you can connect it. So these are the connection that I have made using that schematic diagram I've shown. So you can also follow that schematic diagram and create the connections like this. So this is ultrasonic sensor where you can see the VCC trigger, echo and ground available. And I have made the connections accordingly. And here you can see the connections that are made with the resistors. And this is the Raspberry Pi. And then once you have connected with this schematic, you can follow the fourth step. So fourth step is to save the code. So right now we have the code available here. So we can copy this. Let's look into the code now. So under the code, we can see all the import statements of Azure IoT SDK as well as GPIO pins. And we are using this BCM mode of this GPIO mode so that we can mention the pins names and numbers accordingly. So we are using 18 for the trigger and 24 for the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor. So the first thing we are setting is the GPIO pins that we are using, right? The trigger, it should be output and the echo should be input. Next, we'll try to read the uh, distance. So before that, we'll go to the main program. 
So under the main program, you can see the connection string. So the, here, whatever I copied in the first step, right, in the portal, this connection string of the device that you need to paste there. Once you need, you have pasted, you can uh, go to device client. And this device client is going to create a client from this connection string that we have. And uh, so here we can see the try catch code. So inside that we have this send recurring telemetry. So we'll go to that. Now we can see the send recurring telemetry inside that it is trying to create a connection with the device client. And once that is done, we are trying to call the measure distance. So under the measure distance, we have another code here. So which will try to set the trigger to high and it will sleep for 0 0.01 milliseconds. And immediately it will set the trigger to low. So this is the step to make the trigger send the sound waves. And whenever it sends, we are starting the time and stopping the time. So that we'll know uh, the echo whenever the, we send sound signal. So immediately we get an echo. So that echo is read here, the start time and the stop time. So whenever we get the echo, we, know, we need to know the distance of it. So by the distance elapsed, we will be knowing the distance, the time difference between start and arrival will be known. And if we multiply that with the sonic speed, so that would be 34,300 and then divide it by two because we are calculating to and fro of the distance. So we have to divide by two. So once we do that, we'll be getting distance and returning that. So we'll be getting that distance here and we are formatting in such a way that it will be sent properly to the Azure IoT Hub. So once it goes to Azure IoT Hub using this send command. So when you use send command, device client.send message, it will directly go to Azure IoT Hub. So this is the code. Let's look back into the our step four. So inside this step four, we have to copy this code and then put in the Raspberry Pi. So what I've done is I already copied it. So this is the code that I have measure distance. So I'll check. And I also updated the connection string. So if you haven't con uh, updated the connection string, you can copy from this Azure portal and copy this connection string and paste over there. So once you have done that, close the code and immediately go to the step five. So step five is the connection string that we have already discussed and step six is the running of the code. So before running of the code, we need to use Azure IoT Explorer. So I'll open the Azure IoT Explorer. And here, if you haven't uh, seen my previous video, I'll show you how to start, get started with it. So first we have to click on add connection and enter the connection string of the Azure IoT Hub. It's not about the device. So I'll show you. So if you go to IoT Hub, right, home IoT Hub, inside the IoT Hub, we'll be having, so that is shared access policy. So inside that, if you go to uh, IoT Hub owner policy, you need to copy this primary connection string. Once you copy and paste it here, you will be able to see something like this. And here, if you have got into this stage, you can click on view devices in this hub. So you'll be able to see this and get inside the hub device and uh, go to telemetry. So under the telemetry, click on start. So it will start monitoring the telemetry that our device sends to the IoT hub. So what I can do now is go to the step six and I have done this. And once that is done, you can click on copy this command. So by which we can run, I'll put this side by side. Okay, so now I'll try to run this. So Python three measure distance. So if I run this, the immediately we'll see the distance. So the distance is measured with the ultrasonic sensor and immediately we're getting the values here, the 74 and uh, immediately the 71, every distance is being sent to IoT Hub. Now you can observe the distance, right now it is showing 70 or 72, but here when I put the hand and it will be re reduced. And if I increase the hand distance, it will be different. Yes, so we can see 12, right? And 14. 
So, based on the distance it keeps on adjusting itself and measure the distance. And you can also look into the IoT hub for the graph. So, if you go to overview under the IoT hub, you should be able to see the graph increasing. So, number of messages graph should be increasing. And the device to cloud messages, connected devices are one. All these graphs have changed because I'm sending the data. Now, I'll stop this. So, once you have stopped, uh, the code will stop sending and measuring the distance and it will not send the data to cloud as well. We hope this video is informative and has helped you understand how to interface ultrasonic sensor with Raspberry Pi and send the values to Azure Cloud. Your support means a lot to us. So, please support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button. Feel free to post your queries in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.